you guys. We are still in Vietnam, but we have moved on to Hoi An, Vietnam. So we're checking out this cute little town. It's 30 minutes from Da Nang, so we're gonna spend some time here and then we're gonna head to Da Nang. Um, so we're gonna bring you guys along with us. We have a couple activities planned today, um, but first we're going to eat. G found this delicious looking cafe out here. It's pretty popular actually. We found it on TikTok, I believe. So we're gonna go check that out and then we're gonna start our day. Uh-oh, get out of the way. She got that you are beautiful because she is indeed beautiful. <laughs> All right, so I have a really large breakfast. We worked out this morning, so I'm really hungry. I got the Rosie's Brinky, and it comes with mushrooms, tomatoes, eggs, spinach, a side salad, sourdough, bacon, and sausage. Oh man, a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I got the cheesy omelet. It's a cheese omelet with broccoli, cheddar cheese our mozzarella cheese sourdough this is some jam and then I got a side of avocado because I'm giving up pork and she's about to have so much fun eating this so I'm much so fun. jealous because I can't have any <laughs> breakfast was delicious but my little queen over here started coughing really bad um she was allergic to either the bread or uh, we don't know what it was but she was about to have a cough attack i made sure her throat wasn't closing in on her though <laughs> i'm allergic to a lot of stuff but i've never gotten a food allergy test done but i've done a regular allergy test and i pretty much am allergic to outside in general life <laughs> yeah so we're gonna go get some benadryl or no some zyrtec and then we're gonna yeah, we'll continue. continue. <laughs> so I have secured the Zyrtec. I'm gonna pop one of these in. So we can go on about our day because a little, little allergy uh, tag ain't gonna stop me from partying. Oh, but it did though. You in here taking Zyrtec. <laughs> now listen. Mm. We'll be just fine. Our next stop, we're going to this place called the Pottery Village, and it's basically exactly what it sounds like. It's got pottery, it's a little village, it's like a little village town that they make a whole bunch of pottery pots. I'm not sure. Pottery pots? Pottery pots? Potter, pots? Pottery pots. Pottery vases. Pottery items. Pottery. Pottery. <laughs> <laughs> also our hostel uh gives out free bicycles so we're gonna see if they have some available because if they do then we can ride the bikes to the little pottery village and we don't have to use a grab or it's pretty much like uber we don't have to do that so we can just get on the bikes and ride so hopefully they have a set i'm looking down there right now and i see two bikes so hopefully they stay there so they had some bikes for us making some adjustments That's high as go. Uh -huh. do you need to go lower get on it and see how it fits feels that feels fine Pottery Village. G is sitting down back there right now. She's been wanting to take a pottery class forever, so I'm gonna try to figure out how to get her into an actual pottery class. But until then, this is gonna have to do. Yo, 
You did a good job. It's a 90 size. It's very new, unique, very Stop. unique. <laughs> How you feeling? You little artist you. <laughs> she tried to I take the top like the off of one, but okay, she yeah. <laughs> her design was very, what did the lady say your design was? Uh, I don't know. She said it's, it's very cute. It's unique to me. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> Look at the eyes on this guy. <laughs> He um, is a very unique looking guy too. What do you got? It'd be pretty hard to get that. Little chicken. Is, chicken. is that Hey Hey? It's Hey Hey! I imagine it's like playing in mud. That's how it felt? Yeah. Uh, remember when you was a kid you used to make mud pies? I, I do remember that but I don't remember how it feels. I just feel like it would be in my nails it and it just... Like, imagine just digging your hands in mud. It felt real good. Ooh, <laughs> We're gonna go check out the museum now. another beautiful day here in Hoi An, Vietnam and we are off to do some exploring today so first stop is we're checking out this viral food spot that we found on TikTok called Madame Khan I believe and supposedly they had the best Bomni here in Hoi An so we're gonna go check it out and see if it's actually worth the hype coming up on the spot because we actually see a crowd so this has to be it. it definitely has to be as good as they say it is because this line is crazy I'm hungry I can't it smells like the aroma in the air it smells delicious so this is the spot already digging in. I got the chicken. So good. It's got like this spicy sauce. It almost tastes like a spring roll. Mm. Like a spicy spring roll. Oh, Sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> and you got the mix. Hold on. I got the mix. It's got pork, barbecue pork, chicken, some fried egg. Some fried it's got egg. All this stuff. I'm not eating pork right now, and but baby, if I had been fried egg, anytime you have a fried egg on a sandwich, it's magical. Mm -hmm. Another great thing about getting a bomb me, bomb, bomb me, is that they're perfect for on the move eating. They put them in these little bags, and you just walk around eating your sandwich onto your next destination. It's like the best invention ever. I definitely gotta figure out how they make this bread because I've literally seen people just sitting, eating the bread by itself. Just, it's like a thing out here. And G loves bread. So if I know how to make this, I'm gonna be in real good with her. <laughs> All right, so we're headed to Old Town. We're gonna get some cute photos. Old Town has a lot of old charm and a lot of tailor shops, restaurants, and it's just something you have to see when you're in Hoi An. It's, it's really beautiful, to say the least. people on bikes walking motorbikes yeah it's like we've arrived 
They're our favorite. That was a nice one. So I picked up this leather bag and it is so beautiful. Look at this bad boy. I am super excited. This would be something G would say is timeless. Yes, it is though. <laughs> it's real leather inside. I mean, it's just quality how it's made. It's what else is it? quality. Girl. It's quality. You hear me? <laughs> and for the price, we only paid how much did we pay? One million and one hundred. Viet Dong. Yeah. So whatever. Let me convert it for you and get right back to you. One point one million Viet Dong is forty six dollars USD, yes. and that's real buffalo skin leather right there. So Fee manages to buy something everywhere we go. She has no self-control. Hold on now. Hold um, on. Wait a minute. <laughs> she cannot go into these little shops and markets and just not buy anything. It it's, might, it it's, might. Her, it's her, I guess, we'll say mid, what, what color? A beige flag, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> so G just gonna stall me out like that and not warn me or nothing. But it's cool though. She's right. I, 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 you know, I get excited. But like, when are you ever, when are you ever gonna say you bought a leather bag from Vietnam for 40? Well, I don't know. It doesn't matter about the price. But it's, we're in Vietnam. So we just met the most amazing sisters from Australia. <laughs> and honestly, this, I think it's one of the greatest parts about traveling is meeting people from all over the world and just hearing their stories. And it's like a quick, quick exchange of stories, like in a matter of maybe three to five minutes, if that. But it's so amazing to experience. So this lady was telling us how she, or well she was telling me, because we were each talking to a sister, but the sister that I was talking to, she was telling me how her and her husband ended up not having a big wedding similar to us. And they went and got married in like some rainforest and had like 30 of their closest friends and family members come and they said it was just like the most magical thing ever and her husband has actually passed away but she's like those memories like just even her talking about it she's like i'm getting choked up and i get goosebumps because it was the best decision i ever made so if this doesn't motivate you to go and travel and live your life the way you want to live it like i don't know what else will because it's truly magical and the sister I was talking to, I was just telling her, you know, how Australia is a place, because they're from Australia, that we wanted to visit. And we were thinking about squeezing it in on this trip. And she was like, no, you can't. She said, because Australia basically covers the entirety of Europe. It's that big. And, you know, it was just a great exchange of information that happened in a split second. And I'm like, thank you for telling us, because now we know we need to plan to have time to go to Australia. And it's those, those little things that make travel so. That's why we forget just who we are.